here. I'm here to do kind of a different video, um, but the theme of this video that I created was large books that I have not read yet. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, I've been going to grad school for the past four years, and I live on Long Island, and my grad school was in the city, so getting to there would require a lot of train time, which is great for reading, but large books over like 500 pages were not feasible to get to the city, so I would often either just not read them or get audiobooks or just decide just not to read them at that point so I do have a lot of them on my shelves that I now that I do have a break I won't have to be going to the city as much until at least September so here are the top seven books that I would love to read now that I have some downtime and won't be going to the city every day the first book that I'm going I add to this pile is The Last Magician by L L um, Lisa Maxwell and I did actually meet her when I was at the Boston Teen Book Festival and she was super nice. So yeah, this is the first book that I'm going to chat about. Theme novel and it follows this character named uh, Asta and it takes place in a future version of New York City, I think. Yeah, a modern day New York City where magic does not exist or it's like illegal, I guess, and the few magi but there are a few magicians that do exist and the lead character, Asta, is a thief. She's able to go back through time and she does steal several artifacts before this ruling body can get them. But she is sent on a dangerous mission to get a book that will basically, hopefully, save magic. Um, it sounds so cool. And this book is literally, hold on, it is literally at just 500 pages. So this is a bit of a monster of a book. I've heard it's a slow burn, but I've still heard really good things about it. And I know the sequel is coming out eventually, so I would love to get this book check this book off my TBR for so long and it's Serafina by Rachel Hartman and the reason this became a little bit more pressing is that I have the companion series Tess on the Road and I would so I would love to read Serafina and Shadow Scale um so this is the next book that I'm going to chat about it's just shy of 500 pages it is 499 um but this is a dragon themed book and it follows a girl named Serafina who is starts she's a court musician musician and in this society there's a very very tenseful um there's a tense there's a very very tense um full um you know like political situation between the dragons and um the other side like the humans i guess so when the anniversary comes near she is sent to court as a musician um, but when a, when, when a member of the royal family is murdered, she is thrust into the mystery. She not only has to try the sips me, but she has to also keep her secrets secret. So it sounds really good. I know Shadow Scale is very good. And then I really do want to read Tess on the Road. And this has been on my shelf for a while. And I actually was going to read it last month, but then I got sick, so I didn't get to it. But this is definitely a book that I want to read quicker as well. That is a book that I just got from the publisher from Source Books, and it's Furyborn by Claire Legrand. This book is 488 pages, another very, very thick book, but I'm so excited to dive into this, and I'm going to chat about this one next. Interesting is basically two divergent timelines. Um, one is um, a girl named Rael, who she is forced to save her best friend, but in doing so, she reveals that she can form all seven types of environmental magic, um, and she has to go through all these trials to see if she, if she can be queen um, but if she fails, she will be executed unless the trials kill her first. And in another timeline, there is a girl named Alina Faroka, um, and she is a bounty hunter. When the Undying Empire conquers her kingdom, she embraces violence to keep her family alive. Now she believes herself untouchable until her mother vanishes without a trace, along with countless other women in the city to find her. Ellen joins the rebel captain on a dangerous mission and discovers that, she, that the evil of the empire is more terrible than she ever imagined. As Riel and Elena fight in a cosmic war that spans millennia, their stories intersect and the shocking connections between them ultimately determines the fate of the world and of each other. That sounds really, really interesting. I love divergent timelines and I really love magic books, so I'm super excited to dive into this one as well. It's a book that I got from um, New York City Comic Con from Del Rey Books, um, and this actually doesn't come out until March, so I still have a little bit of time to read this one, but it is a... Um, pretty hefty book. It is uh, not as, it's like 429 pages, so it's not as thick as the other ones. But the the summary sounded really good. I did rip the cover accidentally. Oops. Um, but it says the king near death lies in a magically induced coma to save their father and prevent 
chaos across the kingdom. Five daughters set on a journey to find a cure, even as their combining brother seeks to gather the power himself. The sisters are in charge of a lost relative in the wilds of the north. He may hold the key to that father's survival, but their journey will not be an easy one for each. Uh, for each of these very three women, secrets are known to the rest. Secrets that could decide the fate of family and the kingdom. And this is the first in a series, and book two is due out in 2019. Sounds really good. I love strong female novels, and I love magic novels, so I really hope to dive into this one soon as really, really long books. <laughs> but the next one is Children of Blood and Bone by Tumi Ariyami. Um, and this is just the, the first four lines is, they killed my mother. They took my magic. They tried to bury us. Now we rise. Um, and it says, Zia Abdullah remembers when the soil of ocean hums with magic. Burners ignited flames. Titles beckon waves. And Zili's reaper mother summoned four souls. But everything changed the night the magic disappeared. Under the orders of the ruthless king, mages were targeted and killed, leaving Zili without a mother and people without hope. Now Zili has one chance to bring magic back and strike against the monarchy. With the help of a rogue princess, Zili must outwit, outrun the crown prince who is hellbent on eradicating magic for good. Danger looks in Orsa, where snow, lemurs, prowl, and vengeful spirits wait in the waters. If the greatest danger many may be Zeely herself, as she struggles to control her powers and her growing feelings for the enemy. This also comes out in March. I've heard amazing things about this from friends, and I'm so excited to dive into this. I was able to meet her at New York City Comic Con, and she was really, really lovely, so I'm so excited to dive into her novel, hopefully next month. For a while um this book has been on my shelf since i've been going to books of wonder which is at least three years um but it is queen of shadows by sarah j moss and the reason i was so hesitant to read this book is because it is signed to me by sarah j moss and i really her signature is so hard to get so now that i have a little bit of home time i really want to read this i want to read empire of storms i want to read tower of dawn and i want to be able to hopefully be fully caught up to read the final book in the series so it is a goal. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I definitely want to read this. And then the last book is another book that I'm in the middle of a reread to start this series, but it's both Lady Midnight and Lord of Shadows. Um, and this book, this book is like 644 pages, and this book is... Oh, how long is this book? Let's see. And this book is... I don't know how much this book is. There's no pages here. Uh, yeah, hold on, it's like a short story, I guess. Steal my, sever my soul is a story. Uh, so hold on. Uh, if you don't read the story, it's like 668 pages. It's probably more like 700 pages. So this is probably the biggest book. And this is the one that I'm going to read as soon as I finish listening to Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy. So this might actually be the next read. What I'm going to start doing, and I'm going to do another video at middle grade, is I'm going to pick a middle grade book and a long book every month. So I can at least get through five of these or until September. So that's my goal. So I'm going to also make a middle grade video so you guys should keep an eye out for that. But I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you guys later.